access the escalator. We are at the TRX Mall. Mark has been craving for burgers at 10 o'clock at night. He's like, I'm gonna go order a burger. And I was like, no, babe. It's 10 o'clock at night. Why don't we wait until tomorrow? And now we're back in Shake Shack. I am shaking my head. I'm like, oh my god. This is like a weekly thing. Coming here in TRX Mall to get burgers. This is boy. I mean, man, husband. That's the cravings for burgers every week. So that's what we're doing. We're going to Shake Shack. Hopefully, there's not much of a line today. The hype is over. Last time we still waited like an hour. So hopefully we won't wait that long. But yes. We usually come early. So I think people meet here like around 12. It's only 11 right now. Let's see. What's the time? 11, 12? Let's see what time we get our food. Um, we always get lucky when we do that. We always come to a place or a restaurant like right before diners come. But this is Sarah Small. You can see right here. They have the food area and then we're going up. Yeah, so we're gonna go up there to Shake Shack, but I am gonna go take you on a tour today of Garrett's Mall. That's the only place in Malaysia that has a Shake Shack. And been here quite often enough already because Shake Shack. But yeah, so I'm gonna take you on a tour on that today. Mark is gonna get haircut later on after we eat. And I've got like an hour to kill. <gasps> No line! Yes! The hype is over! So we're just gonna go straight back in. Okay, there's still a little bit of line, but I don't think it's that bad anymore. Yeah. There he goes with his burger. OMG. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. Oh my god. Craving satisfied, I see. Aren't you glad you didn't order that burger last night? Oh yeah. So this is the first time Mark got me my own drink. I usually just say, oh, we'll share a drink. But last time I left say, hey, maybe some. Because he always finishes the whole drink and all I get is a tiny one. But this time I get my own and this is a passion fruit lemonade. Ooh. Ooh. Tastes a lemonade. Ooh. Tangy. Very tangy. I mean, I taste the passion fruit. Can you want to try? Yeah. Ooh. That's like Sarah. Not bad. I'll stick to my dog. Mm -hmm. But the, um, I think it's in Finish Shake Shack. The line is definitely less. It took 30 minutes for the food to come. We're just gonna walk around at the floor of TRF. Look at this green space. I am impressed with how much greenery is here in the middle of the city. They have trees growing and buildings. I don't think I've seen it anywhere else like this. Have you Mark? Look at that. Look at that tree. Oh my god, Mark. Like I could see like the, the High Line in New York. There are things growing there, but at, not at this level. <gasps> There's like banana leaves growing. You look ahead how much lower the buildings are we are at a higher level so i am really impressed on the amount of trees growing up here we haven't walked this way mark sure. i see bananas what else do they have here oh that's a star fruit or star apple it's a fruit there's a banana growing i don't know if we've gotten used to the weather now but i'm pretty comfortable it's not too hot it's not, not too hot anymore. what's the temperature right now 87. 87. Oh, look at you. You're comfortable at 87. So look, this is how far up we are. This is how KL looks like. I am impressed. I think um, in New York, when it starts hitting in the 80s, I know I get really hot. And I mean, we've been here for six weeks already. So I think we're finally getting used to it. Tell me a city. Let me know, because I haven't really traveled that much. But another city that has so much green space inside in the middle of it. And here, I will probably put videos of examples where there's buildings with trees growing in them, especially in the top floor. Ooh, this is how it looks. That little dome area is going to be first Apple store in Malaysia. Uh, when is it gonna open? We, we don't know. know we don't uh, know, but remember. that's where it's supposed to be. Let me show you. Oh, that is painful. Ooh, 12, we gotta go. Painful, son. Malaysia knows how to do malls. I don't go to malls in New York City or New York in general, but we've gone to the malls maybe, I would say at least once, maybe twice a week since we've been here. This is like the usual thing because it's so hot normally and the malls is the most air-conditioned place. And the thing is, it's actually really pleasant. It's, it's a really nice walk, even though we can't afford most of the things here, but it's just a really nice walk. All right, let's go in really hot we're going in now it's too hot Ooh, it's 12 o'clock so it's so painful right now we're in one side of the mall it's a pool. Ooh, you 
want to go check it out? Let's go. Mark loves playing basketball and normally in New York, he plays twice a week with, um, you know, with the older guys. They have their own dad basketball team, that 40 year old group. So he misses that. Now he's starting to play uh, futsal. Uh, he's still a beginner, but he's learning, but he loves basketball. And that's something he's trying to do. How are you going to play basketball here, Mark? Do you know anybody that plays basketball? Some characters who play ball, but they live too far. Just love playing that. So let's go down. Today. I feel like this is the normal crowd. Um, I think we were just here because of um, the holiday. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're here like towards the end of um, Ramadan. Why it was very crowded when we came here last time. But I think this is like the normal group. We can have coffee again at um, Bacha yeah. later on or um, Baka, Bacha. And then there's another coffee place that we like going to over here. <laughs> so the other thing about um, the malls here in Malaysia is that there's a store for almost every brand that you see. In the US, they may just have like one store in the city. Here, almost every mall has like, you'll see a Dyson in almost every mall. You'll see like a Carhartt, like even the makeup brands like NARS only that you would just see in Sephora. But they actually have their actual stores. Not in just one location in the city, but like in almost every mall here. So that's the big difference here. I'm gonna give you an example right now. Do you see that Mac store right there? We have a Mac store in every mall. Literally in every mall you go there. There's the Mac store. You don't have to go to Sephora for that, but there's also Sephora here. That's just a different thing. You see all the brands here and uh, oh we like that coffee shop right there they have over a hundred coffee um, beans from all over the world and it tastes really good <laughs> this is the post photos a look this is the view Marcus is disappointed. He wanted to shoot hoops. Is that how you say it? shoot hoops? <laughs> he wanted to shoot some ball. Some hoops. Some so ball. yeah. All right. That's how much I know about basketball. But he's so disappointed that he can't shoot hoops. It's more about like taking photos and of course spreading the spreading the brand. Marco just thought, yes, take photo first and then you can come in. Oh. Poor Mark. Anybody, if you are watching this and you're from KL and you play basketball. Please leave a comment. Maybe Mark can join your game because he is really, he loves playing basketball. Tie, tie, tie. No, I had 34. I had oh, 34. I heard you say 30. 34. Uh, Mark working hard for that drink. <laughs> <laughs> he just wanted to get some food. And then they said, oh, you can get a drink. But first, you have to post to Instagram with a hashtag. Pretty good, actually. But he's disappointed because you can't shoot the ghosts over there. Only take a photo and post. Mark getting his drink. That's refreshing. It's uh, pineapple juice from my gal. So it's healthy. <laughs> it balances out the it's alcohol. A wow. Is this like guy math? Oh, yeah, after the burgers, right? Um, yeah. It's refreshing. <laughs> Mark getting his drink on before his haircut. This is your day of pampering. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna get a massage. This is like a whole pampering level over here. What else does he do for you when you get your hair cut? What? What else do you get when you get your hair cut? Oh, you want your hair is washed and he styles your hair. You could even um, style your eyebrows if you want. But yeah. I don't. I don't need it. Wait, did he do it the last time? What did he do? The first time, yeah. The first time he styled your eyebrow. Yeah. You don't want your eyebrows done again? I don't need it. That's what he thinks. So there's something to eat it. You're gonna do your beard. Oh yeah, yeah. So my beard, haircut, um, wash, and style. It takes about like an hour and fifteen minutes. Wait, do you normally get your hair washed in the U.S.? You can if you want to. Oh, you ask, can. But costs. Mm -hmm. This one is supposed to be the lightest one. Yeah. Which one? For men or women? They're, they're for a woman, I see. I see. It's supposed to be really light. Oh, it is light. Is that the only color? Oh, the I guess that looks nice. 
you notice that if the material has leather, they cover it up in plastic so that certain religions can't touch work. Like this, and it does say it. Yeah. Interesting. This is the thing about malls here. Like you have so much free time. Okay, I have a lot of free time. And now I want to get sneakers from there. And now I'm actually thinking of getting the hair dryer over there. Let's see. I have one hour to think about it. I'm going to walk around first. There are two stores I like going here. I like going to Muji and Love Bonito. Some of them are just out at the bottom floor. It's really definitely out of my price. So it was very in interesting. They had a Hennessy. We are event downstairs. Uh, we had to register. They have both the assets are you Muslim, you know. This is um, 21 above, and they serve alcohol in there. So I wasn't really in the mood for drinking, but Mark got a pineapple drink. It tastes really good. I didn't feel like drinking so early, but yeah, I like this store right here. We're gonna go to Love Bonito. Last time I went here, I bought so much, and I told myself I'm not buying anymore. I like their blazer, like their speedless blazer here. Yeah. So much for being minimal and not buying too much clothes because I have so much, but I've been shopping a lot over here. I'm a bit disappointed. I saw that black dress the last time I was here, but I just didn't think it would look good on me. And I decided to try it on today, but they no longer have my size. And it's such a good flattering fit. But yeah, let's go check out Muji right now. Yeah, I like shopping here because it is like tailored to my height, especially like that store. It definitely fits me so much better compared to the US. This will be good. <gasps> this is gonna be good to have. Saw this. You get to put glasses in. So let's see, how much is it? This is $99, so about $20 for this one set. How much is this one? So $20 plus, so $24, $25. What's this one for? Okay, we could do that. Or an open. I just want it to be wider though. That's gonna be good. Looking for organizational rack to put on our lower kitchen cabinet. Just because it's just so much space and we're not utilizing it properly. So I figured maybe like some shelving that would help so we could actually store more things there. I might look into that. It can definitely fit. I could definitely stack two types of drawers. I'm gonna look them out first. I mean, I could also get it here or go online. So we'll check. I think there's another floor here. Got some things here. We got some um, sheets from here. So the pricing is not bad. They have some sales. Maybe look at this one. And the mirror here. Oh, 499 so that's about a hundred dollars definitely more stable from the mirror that we got at home same size the mirror that i got get it lazada so it's a 70 dollar difference but you see that is definitely heavier i haven't bought anything as for the organization i'm gonna look around first and see which is probably better but i, I have an idea already mark and i often wonder like who's able to shop the fishy on an average day nobody goes to those kind of stores definitely out of my price range maybe one day well, how do they make money like seriously i don't see anybody going in there maybe once in a while i'll see one person but there's almost every mall has this type of brand and nobody goes in we were here the last time maybe like a month ago and there was like nobody here it was pretty empty maybe they just opened let's go in here it looks pretty and it's not a bad place to walk right you could probably do my 10,000 steps here but it's like a pleasant experience here it's not noisy i mean yes you can hear people talk people keep the volume low so i don't feel stressed at all even though there's really not much for me to buy over here it looks pretty though and they have mentioned bathrooms here are really good it's not just a small but almost every mall here really impressed with how nice in the bathroom situation here is at and you know what I like? They actually have little sinks for kids. Like it is so family friendly over here. Like the sink, I saw the little girl, but she just went straight to the sink because it was just her height. She rolled her floor and she just washed her hands right away. And even the family rooms, it's really nicely equipped. It's so clean. Family rooms for changing rooms for diapers for moms is definitely much better here. If you're in the US watching this, let me know if you actually have little things for children or is it just like an Asia thing or a Malaysia thing or if um, you see family rooms are really nice. There he is. He's getting pampered. Let's go stalk him. Look at him. Last time they did his eyebrow. Look at the husband looking so handsome. Hey, got my haircut. Look how handsome you look. You got your beard on too? Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, look how sharp that line is. Wow. Mm. <laughs> Subtle. Rate it from 0 to 10. John? How about this one? Well, this one. Hmm, I don't like that one. That one smells old. 
It smells like grandma. But you like this one? Yeah. Or should I wait until I find something else? Because yeah. I need a perfume. It's most mature. Mature? I am mature. Yeah. Mark is actually in search of um, athletic shirts. What I also like about the malls here is like they group certain stores together, like all the makeup together, all the athletic ones in the same section. So it's really easy to find them. Okay. Oh, this is nice. I mean, like, not this color, but the fabric feels good. This is for all you nurses out there. This is how they look. This is nice. How much is it? 1,000 ringgit. So that's about $200. Let's see. We bought our tickets to see the Planet of the Apes. Is it Planet of the Apes? Some kind of, I don't know, it was it was Mark's idea to go watch a movie. This is another thing, I've stopped going to movie theaters in like years. Mm -hmm. So I have a thing of sitting down for two to three hours and it got worse in the, during the pandemic, of course, because I just can't, like I want to be able to turn off and move and then come back again. We like the movie theaters here. We, last time we did the IMAX and today we're trying out another one. Are we doing the cabin this time? The cabin, it's which has, more comfortable. yeah, more comfortable. It has like, um, like leather couch. The IMAX was so much cheaper for the last time. This one is for two people, it is 300 ring, so that's about $60. You get two drinks and two, 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 snacks. two snacks. And I was, the snacks are yeah. calamari and like some top with uh, like hazelnut thing. We'll, we'll it yeah, it's like I was looking for a popcorn and like some other drinks like water and this like no. No popcorn, it's calamari. So we're gonna try that. And there's supposed to be an even better movie theater. It's called Gita Max, and that one is a bed. So maybe next time we can try that. And it's that one is 350. Yeah. That's like maybe. Yeah. Each theater has a complimentary snacks. So maybe we'll try that next time. So for now, we're gonna go to our favorite coffee place here. We have an hour to to kill, so we'll go to the coffee shop. Yeah, I like this coffee shop. Oh my god, we've been here for like three hours already. Really? Made seven thousand. Yeah, I walked seven thousand steps already, and it's like a nice little place to walk. I figured like I could probably go to the mall and do all my my stuff for the day. I don't know why, but I really find. Malaysia Mall or KL Mall, very relaxing to walk in. It's not crazy, not stressful. Even though there's a lot of people, it just doesn't feel very stressful. All right, this is our favorite coffee place here, Keyboard Coffee. It's the same thing as like... Oh. Thank you. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Man of few words. So we're gonna go watch Kingdom of the Apes. Calamari and chocolate. All right, let's go. Hi. Hi. Thank you. This is nice. <laughs> So bright. <laughs> Where's all oh, down there? Restroom? Okay, good. Oh, it's smaller than the IMAX, right? It's so smaller. Just your seats on the right side. All right, just finished our movie. That's, I know it's a lot. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I think we have to go up. We haven't gone this way before. Yeah. There's some crazy, some crazy service over here. It's like a restaurant. I know. What is this place? Look. Fancy. <laughs> <laughs> this is the movie theater. This is cool. Thank you. Okay, we'll start to the mall. <laughs> 
restaurant. It's like a maze. The theater was very impressive. Uh, we spent 300 okay. ringgits. And then you get two drinks. What are options for snack? I got a uh, chocolate mousse, like hazelnut. Yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't bad, actually. Yeah. Uh, I got calamari on uh, uh, scope. I feel like I would still choose the IMAX theater because the, the quality of the video and the audio and speakers were better yeah. on the IMAX. And I think IMAX is cheaper. It was definitely a whole lot cheaper. Yeah. And I think it was able to recline also. The seats in the IMAX was able to recline. I think the only difference was that the seats were leather and much wider. Okay. But I don't really need a wider seat. Yeah. Um, Depends on what your priority is. Do you want better seats or a better video and speak well? I would prefer to get the better video and movie experience. Yeah, I think I would go for IMAX because okay. not only is it cheaper and I don't really need a fancy yeah, yeah, yeah. service is top notch, yeah. whichever one we go, but this one is another level. Like, And then they walk you to your seat, but then when you first come in and they scan the barcode, there's actually yeah. everybody says welcome. It's, it's gonna, the service is just amazing. Dinner. Noodles. Yes. Fish soup again? Yeah. But they it's have. Just the yeah. Do you, do you know where to go now? Yeah, yeah. The fish noodle soup that we've gone to, they also have another location here, just across the street from TRX Mall. So we're going to navigate there. We spent the whole day We spent. This is what I mean. It's it's like a pastime hanging out in the mall. Do we feel stressed? No. Yeah. See, that's the difference about it. Nobody's really loud, right? Everyone's calm. Like everyone's just doing their thing. You know, maybe, the I think, yeah, we're probably the loud American. How is that crazy? Look at the Do you see anybody in there? Do you see anybody? Or maybe somebody's there in that store. Maybe one day. Who knows? We can dream. You know, it's called manifesting. Oh, we haven't gone out this way. Oh, look at this one. Wow. Oh my god, that's the entrance. Look at this. We've driven that way. The car goes that way. Yeah. Do you see this? Wow. Oh, let's go down this way so we can look at the mall. So this is Malaysia. <laughs> or KL. Look at the buildings around us. Do you see this? Malaysia? Amazing. KL? Like, I'm just being sure. I know. It's definitely so modern, but just like I love how they just incorporate or just balance the whole nature, technology, and architecture. There's definitely several buildings around that's still in the process of being built. <gasps> you better go run, Mark, run, run! There's a line. We are in the TRX location of the Heikalang fish noodle soup area. Look at this place! Wow. It's a little fancier looking than the other one. It went by so fast. Yeah. I think 15 minutes. It wasn't a long wait at all. That's refreshing. What's in it? It's like cucumber. It looked like garlic. I thought it was going to be garlicky. No, it's not. That's <laughs> it's good. Cucumbers. It's very refreshing. Yeah. What do you have? I think it's lime and... Uh... Um, lemongrass? No, oh, lemongrass, yeah. It's lemongrass. Good. Oh, it's good. We got the tofu, but I think it has some fish paste in it. There you go. Thank you, dear. And it looks like there's some uh, chili sauce too. Yeah, tofu with fish paste. I love it. We've ordered it three times already. And it's always best to eat it right fresh off the fryer. I don't think we've had this before in the US. No. This is like the first time we've had like so good with this. Yeah. I like how crispy it is. Okay, also it's like tofu with mixed with um, fish. Yeah, I think it's like tofu with fish inside. Let's finish this thing. Right. The last one. What is that one? I think that's for the animals. Good appetizer. It's very good. Hungry. So I didn't want to order uh, two tom yums. We both like tom yum. This one is the clear one and it's grouper instead of uh, We usually order a mix. The clear soup, the first one. I think it's just the regular fish noodle soup. I mean without uh, the milk. And the noodles is... Uh, Misha uh, noodle. Yeah, I like this. Yeah. I like the broth. It's clear. Um, no extra milk, no extra sauce. It's just... I think it's like I'm hot, right? I don't need anything fancy. A nice standard broth. Trying out the noodles. Um, wow. 
It's no good. I think I like all three of them. It just really depends on what mood you're in. So much flavor. You like a little spice Normally, on it. We want to wait for uh, everyone to get their dish right here. In Malaysia, we noticed that they just bring up your food one at a time. And they recommend to don't wait for others because um, your noodles are going to get soggy. Just, just go for it. That's what I've been told. Let me just look at Mark. Mm -hmm. oh, look at you, what you're eating. Wow. Oh, that looks nice. That's good. So nice. Isn't it playing? Yeah, sometimes I prefer the, the thicker broth, but uh, tonight I'm pretty happy with the clear broth. Tom yum or the tomato soup base is a little bit more spicier. Uh, you can see it's red over here. Since I don't really eat other seafood, I just got the mixed fish. And for my noodles, I have Nihon thick noodles that here. I feel like this, the beef shot looks a little thicker than mine. Thinner than the Nihon thick. Oh, I smell it. Ooh, is this lemongrass? Oh, so good. Mm. It's like a sweet, but a little spicy. Not spice, that's spicy at all. It's probably, on a scale from 0 to 10, I would say maybe a 5. Oh, I guess it's very subjective. Oh, I love it. Ooh, and it's go straight to your throat. It's nice the noodles, but I realized I like the Mihon, Mishan noodles. Because it's softer. Oh, this reminds me of, um, so we make this miswa in the Philippines. It's almost miswa, like they would put sardines as the base of it, and they would put patola as the vegetable, and then they would use the, the really thin rice noodles. Oh, this is like miswa, it tastes like it. Uh, almost like it, not exact. You want to taste it, Mark? Yeah. It's very spicy, it's really hot right now. Let's try the broth. Mm. It has a sourness to it. That's the word, sourness. What's your spice it's level? It's definitely like more oily than uh, compared to the clear broth. That's yeah. more taste. That's what I was saying. We need something light and then something heavy. This is definitely heavier. What would you rate it in the spicy level? Oh, spicy spicy like scale. Not even, not even spicy to me. It's just like a two, two out of ten. We should make a video on like guys eating the same place as the as the wives because like I'm almost done with mine and like she has this tongue like uh, but not you, even close. But you started eating earlier than me. So this well, is my plate or my bowl. That's Mark's bowl. It's so much faster than me. But my food did come later. Yeah. It's like one of our favorite dishes now. It is there? Yeah. This is like the third time we ate this and it's so good. It's Solid, solid, good food. I would keep changing the uh, like the fishes. Yeah. Like, so I tried grouper just now. I think next time I'll try some. Yeah. I also like their drinks. Yeah. Their coffee drinks are also really good. The high non, which is a combination of coffee and tea, delicious, really good. And then this one's very refreshing. Oh, so good. So I just want to add that I do like that they let you order uh, while you're waiting for your table. So that means. Once you get your table, uh, they could just bring the food over. Um, really convenient, they thought it out that way. We don't have to wait too long to, to start eating. Let's finish our dinner, closing off this video. Great dinner. Yeah, it's our favorite now. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, one of our favorite dishes now. Just yeah. uh, pretty solid. I think I'll be eating that maybe at least once a week. Oh, what was the total? 85. So. 85 for... 85 so for two soup, we actually ordered another drink, so three drinks. Three drinks, two soup, and, and one appetizer. One appetizer, 85. 85 so that's about drinks. $16. This is how it looks, the view from TRX. So very affordable. Very yes. good. We love Malaysia. All right. I think we'll wrap it up here. Finish yeah. our dinner. I think we're ready to go back home, do some editing. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. What? Oh yeah. You want to go get something? Yeah. Might as well go to the supermarket. So at the bottom floor is the food central food court. I guess we're gonna stop by the grocery store and get some fruits. Ten ringgits, two dollars. I think we should be good enough now. Mm -hmm. I'm 
that thing got sent over here. Ooh, small sweet. Look at a few. Three? Should we yeah. get enough? Yep. We'll get it wrapped right later on. Ah! Do you want to help you do it for it? Wow. I don't know if it's going to be summer. And this is 12. So about 250? You want some? Can I get two? Yeah, two. Okay. We just wrapped them up later. Look at this window. It's hard. Oh. Get some? All right. We just need yogurt and then we'll get it. So we have to weigh the fruit before we get to the register. The last time I did that, they didn't let me buy it. So I had to go back here and um, weigh it. And that's what we're doing. For bristly, bright, and glowing skin. Yeah. The next level would be for us to learn how to make our own soap. <laughs> you see. Alright, doing a final goodbye because we did go back to the mall and went to the supermarket at the bottom to get some fruits. That's it. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.